um, once you've applied for it, other potential users um, would need to consider your application. So if you file today and someone thinks of your brand in three days' time, well, basically your application's in first. So, you know, it's going to be considered first. Um, someone can't jump the queue in that sort of sense unless um, they have been using the mark under common law for many, 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 many years and then they file a, a particular application with the um, uh, with the trademark office, but that can only be done at opposition time as well, which is way down the track. Once the trademark is registered, you, you can stop anyone using a similar trademark for similar goods or services, and that's enforcing your brand. You can bring people's attention to the mark before it's registered, but you can't actually enforce it. You can't try and sue someone until it's registered. Um, that's unfortunately the way the law goes. As I said before, trademark infringement, um, that those types of litigation is a lot simpler and cheaper than passing off litigation, which is under Common Law or Trade Practices Act, etc. Um, to register a trademark, it must be capable of being represented graphically. So it must be um, something that you know you can visually see. So whilst there are um, scent and um, sound marks, they are actually registered by um, the scent one is via a particular um, uh, sort of pheromone um, uh, composition and the sound one is via an accompanying like, musical score. So it still has to be in some sort of graphical format. And a registered trademark, or not even a registered trademark these days, um, a trademark application from some jurisdictions is actually what is required for you to be able to obtain Amazon brand registry. Um, you can't get brand registry without one. Um, that's just the rules. Uh, but And it prevents other sellers using your brand, your brand name or logo on the Amazon platform, but um, in specific marketplaces. So I know that you can use, uh, you know, an Australian application to get brand registry in the US. The issue sometimes comes down to if you need to enforce it, Amazon will not enforce unless you actually have uh, uh, the application in that country, despite the fact that they may have given you brand registry. So there are some sort of loopholes. Hey, this is Neil Asher from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We help people just like you start your own successful business selling things online, whether that's through Amazon, Shopify, eBay, whatever it may be, we've got the tools that you need to help you succeed online. Whether you're a complete beginner or indeed a professional making millions of dollars, we can certainly help you. By the way, we've helped over two and a half thousand people right now uh, here in Australia as well as wider right around the world. Uh, we've got sales in our members community of over 50 million dollars if you'd like to find out how we did that and come and join us get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au the link is in the description that's aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au and i will see you on the inside